guys. So February is Children's Dental Health Month, so I just wanted to talk a minute about cavities. Um, cavities are the number one chronic disease among children in the United States. So let's talk about what causes them. I have a lot of parents in the dental office that are um, confused or upset when we tell them that their child has a cavity because they feel like you know they're brushing their kids teeth morning and night they're giving them the fluoride they need um, or some parents say oh I I don't let my kid have sugar how do they have a cavity the biggest contributing factor to cavities is actually your diet so this goes for adults and children um, so not to get too complicated but um, when you eat food most foods have carbohydrates well, we all know that carbohydrates break down into sugars, the um, glucose, maltose, fructose, and lactose. So most foods also have what we call fermentable carbohydrates. So um, fermentable carbs actually start to break down in the mouth. And so when the carbs break down into sugars, the bacteria uses those sugars, the bacteria in your mouth, they use those sugars to break themselves down which when bacteria are breaking down, it causes an acidic environment. So acid plus teeth equals demineralization. So after we eat something, that's when our saliva actually helps us. So saliva starts to work in your mouth to neutralize the environment, to neutralize those acids. So saliva is actually a good thing. Okay, so let's think about kids for a minute. I know that my three-year-old, she snacks all day long. She's either going through a growing spurt or that's just what kids do, but she's always going to the pantry and getting food and just constantly snacking all day. So if you think about it, her saliva is trying to neutralize her mouth after she eats something, but then she puts something else in her mouth and it goes right back to an acidic environment. So as crazy as it sounds, they say that we should drink our um, sodas and sugary drinks all in one setting rather than sipping on it all day long. Um, so as far as snacking goes, I know that's hard for kids. So some things that you can do to try and prevent the tooth decay um, would be, you know, rather than brushing just morning and night, try brushing, you know, in middle of the day as well to help things. Um, also have your child sip on water that will help to neutralize everything in the mouth. Um, to swish with water after having a snack. Um, and also, if your kid's old enough, chewing on sugar-free gum or gum with xylitol in it. Okay, so let's talk about foods with fermentable carbohydrates. So, I mean, obviously your candies and sweets, um, sugary foods you want to avoid, but also things like bread, pretzels, chips, um, crackers, raisins, fruit, um, dried fruits. So especially things like your sticky fruit snacks and dried fruits, although might be a healthy option for your kid, are actually really increase the risk for cavities because that stickiness will, um, you know, get in the cracks of their teeth and really those bacteria really thrive on things like that. Some foods that are good options are cheeses, um, chicken and meats, milk, plain yogurt, um, nuts. Also foods high in fiber can help stimulate the saliva, so that's always a good thing. Um, and as you can see, you know, there's a lot of healthy foods on the list of the fermentable carbohydrates, so it's impossible to never, never have them. Um, so it's just important to remember, you know, make sure you're brushing your kids' teeth morning and night, and then if they're frequent snackers, um, middle of the day is a good option as well. And then um, try to give your kid as much water as possible. The fruit juices have lots and lots of sugars. Um, make sure you're using a fluoride toothpaste. Uh, also, the sugar-free gum is a good option as well. So in conclusion, um, your diet has a lot to do with cavities. So if you're getting a lot of cavities, your kid's getting a lot of cavities, start to take a look at what you may be eating, but also how often you're eating. Um, and remember guys, if you ever have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and I'll try to help you out.